Number 11, way to stay poor. Avoid discomfort, all right? A lot of us, you know, we have new things. You have to take risks. You have to learn things. And it's uncomfortable because you will suck, right? Of course you will suck. It's normal to suck. But people avoid discomfort because they don't want to go through that. And it's so silly. The discomfort that they're feeling is the judgment they impose upon themselves about not being good at something they've never done before. How insane is that? Very. And that's why humans are also kind of insane when you think about the things that we do and the things that we think. And so great way to stay poor is to avoid discomfort of all kinds. You also guarantee the number one discomfort, which is that you don't accomplish what you want in your life. 12, how to stay poor. Tolerate mediocrity from yourself and others. All right, so as you start to grow, if you're growing you know, a, a small business or even in the workplace, if you tolerate mediocrity from others, you will beget more mediocrity and people over time will just degrade and get worse and worse over time rather than the reverse of that, of thinking like, I will only tolerate excellence and anything below that is intolerable. If you think about the best leaders and the best CEOs, and the most successful people of all time, they have this innate trait, right? For lack of a better term, they're ball busters, right? They hold a standard that, and here's the catch, that they themselves stay above, which means you must raise your own standards so that you can model what it looks like for other people around you to hold themselves, right? The best, like most people don't need to be led. Most people need a model and they can see that, right? And you're, you're leading by example. And so best thing to do to stay poor, tolerate mediocrity from yourself and others. 13, how to stay poor. Make promises, break promises. <laughs> so you make promises to yourself, you make promises to other people, and you both, you destroy your reputation with other people. And that's a terrible thing. And it takes a long time to fix that. But the one that's the hardest one to fix is the reputation you have with yourself. You make promises to yourself and you break promises to yourself. Because the thing is, you are the only one who's holding you accountable. And I think a different version of happiness, in my opinion, is respect for oneself. And I think your own respect is the hardest to earn because you know how hard you could have pushed. You know if you could have gone for an extra mile, you could have showed up to the gym more times, you could have eaten better, you could have made more cold calls, you could have done more reach outs, you could have made more content, you could have actually done a, a le left a nice note for somebody on your team when you, when you were too tired to do so. You could have over delivered on the product, you could have made a better version of that video and you decided to put it up anyways, even though you knew it wasn't as good as it could have been. And so you make promises to yourself and then you break promises to yourself and you lose respect in the process. It's an excellent way to stay poor. Number 14, wait for perfect conditions. All right, and this is a great one. Great way to stay poor. It's, uh, it's, it's one of my favorites. You gotta wait for everything to be perfectly aligned for you to be successful. And here's the secret. There are never gonna be perfect conditions. And here's what's even crazier. If you need perfect conditions to be successful, the moment the conditions change, you will stop being successful. So you might as well start when the conditions are their absolute worst because it means that they will only get better from there. And if you can prove success when things get bad, when they get bad again, which is guaranteed, you will still remain successful because you have learned how to do it in this time, in this circumstance. Make sense? Great reason to not wait for perfect conditions. 15, prioritize looking rich over being rich. This is a classic one of poor folks in general. I get the, the, the loving amount of troll comments that I get from the fact that I'm in my mama's basement and wearing a wife beater and wearing a nose strip, right? Must mean that I am poor, of course, right? Because you confuse looking rich with being rich, right? Just silly. You can just Google my name and just put uh, private equity and uh, at Gym Launch and American Pacific Group and you can see what we sold two of our businesses for. So the point is, you have to prioritize being rich, which means spending less for a long period of time because you are not valuing the opinion of other people over your own, which because you respect your own approval more than that of other people. You have to be willing to die to the opinion of others rather than dying to the opinion of yourself. And I mean that, it's real shit. Stop trying to look rich. Be willing to look poor, all right? And I know that's contrary to like dress the part and all that stuff, but like the thing is, is like, you've gotta be real to you or you'll be real to no one. And that's a promise. Number 16, avoid working on what matters most. All right, this is a great way to stay poor, is that you work all day long, you're busy, you're full of activity, you're doing stuff, and nothing important moves forward. Because the nature of speed is not about activity. The people who are the richest in the world aren't doing the most stuff. They're doing the right stuff, right? And they're making sure, better stated, making sure the right stuff gets done in general, whether or not it's them or someone else. And so it's looking at the many things that you can or could do and picking the very few that are the ones that move the needle the most. And typically, they're the ones that you do not want to do and you are procrastinating on. And you can probably eliminate all the stuff that you that give you the mental masturbation of getting stuff done without actually moving the ball forward towards your goals. So it's a great way to stay poor. It's just keep doing stuff that does not matter. 17, say you're going to do something and then don't do it. This is just like making and breaking promises to others and self, but this one,